Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie-dye something called a confetti spiral. My friend and I made up that name just because the spiral itself looks like confetti and colors everywhere um, based on the way we dye it. So I already have my shirt prepared. I'm gonna show you how to spiral it up and then how to dye it. You'll also need some rubber bands, dye, and gloves, and a plastic bag. All right, let's get started. Find the center of your shirt, first of all. This is an extra large. It's meant to be oversized. I like to go along like in line with the armpits. You're gonna pinch right in the center and then just twist from there. And try not to let go of that pinch. So like take your fingers out, but then re-grab re that initial middle part and just continue twisting. And then once you get to this point, you can kind of just use your hands to feather out the shirt around it. And this is a long sleeve, so we have those sleeves. Just make sure to get them all the way around, nice and tight on the edges there. So now that we got our nice spiral, you're gonna take your rubber bands, you're gonna pull it to be the width of the shirt, and then you're gonna slide one piece of that rubber band under and the other piece on top right there so that it doesn't undo your spiral as you're adding those rubber bands on. This is what the front and back look like. So now that we have our spiral, we're gonna start dyeing. So I have these plastic gloves. I don't prefer these types of gloves. I like the rubber ones, but I don't have any. So it is what it is. I already got dye on my fingers somehow. So the way we get this confetti effect is by dyeing our colors in really thin lines. I am using seven different colors. So I'm using Roy G. Biv plus a navy blue. And my red is not a pure red, it's actually a light red. So it's more of like a pink color. So we're gonna start by doing just one thin strip of your first color. You're gonna add a second and then a third third. And it's not good to oversaturate. What I'm going to do is I did the first color. I'm going to go to the second color now and then maybe I'll come back and see how it goes. So here we go. You're going to add your second color right next to that and just essentially keep doing that with all your colors. You're going to just go around the circle. So now that I have this kind of map of where the colors are gonna go, I'm gonna go back and just add a little more and like inject the shirt. So like in these little folds, I'm gonna get the tip in there and squeeze it out. If you open it, you'll see that there's still some white in there. So, you know, white can be cool. You, you like some white, but you don't want too much. So once you're done with that first side, you are gonna flip it over. You can see on the edges here, the light red color, the orange, the yellow. You're gonna follow that exact map that you made on the first side and just do the same thing. So here we go. check the flip side and see if it's leaking. All right, it's not. That's, that's a good sign, as long as there's no big puddle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do like another round of touch-ups. You could see here in the middle, the spiral is just kind of like doing its own thing. Like you don't really know what the middle is gonna look like. It's just like all the colors. All right, I think we're done. So let me just, let me just have one more time. Yeah, she's done here. Maybe a little more. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go with yeah. All right. So now that we're finished here, I'm gonna take this plastic bag I have. Oh God, things are happening. Okay. So you're gonna keep this in your plastic bag. 
tie it on up, and you're gonna store that baby until tomorrow. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. And we're back. It's been 24 hours. I just rinsed the shirt out in the sink. So I'm gonna unwrap it here in front of you guys. And then after this, I'm gonna throw it in the wash and dry it and show you guys what it looks like completely dry as well. So here we go. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at all these colors. I'm gonna dry this so that I could show you what it looks like when it's dried. Here we go. All right, and we are all dried. I really love how it came out. I wasn't sure how much white to leave when I was dyeing it. You remember seeing the white in those little cracks. It all depends on your preference. Like if you like how the white looks or if you prefer more color, then you can saturate it a little more when you're dyeing it. So it's all up to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my channel. I have tons of other tutorials and a lot more coming. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And until then, peace out. So until then, peace out.